We have already seen how to apply gradient ascent, descent and contour lines to height fields like planar geometry. And the same concept can be applied to height field primitives. Because height fields are volumes, getting the gradient is very easy by using the volume gradient function. The normal of a height field is 0, 1, 0 if the height field is an exact volume, meaning facing up. And getting the cross product of both of these vectors will give you the contour lines, same as before. Let's see how to implement this in Houdini now. You can continue from the previous scene. Just create a standard height field and add some noise. Then convert this into a polygonal geometry. We compute the gradient using the volume gradient function. Scatter some points and copy paste the contour lines wrangle node. Because height fields are very large, we have to increase step size and max these parameters greatly. As you can see, it works perfectly. I will also reduce the max octaves to have a smoother height field. Now perform a cross product between the gradient and the y up normal. Contour lines show up just like before. I will merge everything together and play with the usual parameters.
Now you might be wondering, this is still using a polygonal mesh under the hood. Is a fully volume based approach even possible without resorting to polygonal geometry at all? The answer will be yes. Just for completeness, I will also show this. Keep in mind that if you want to support height fields in any situation, you have to take into account a lot more things like their orientation, transformation, etc. In our case, we only need to change a few things to demonstrate a full volume based approach. Ok so first off, instead of scatter, we will use height field scatter. Scatter can't scatter on height fields. I set the number of points to 3000. Duplicate the contour lines wrangle node. You can actually use XYZ dist and prim UV functions on height fields. This makes the code a lot simpler. This is also the reason why I wanted to show you the full height field base approach. Because most people are not aware XYZ dist and prim UV functions are perfectly valid for height fields. XYZ dist will return you the volume primitive index along with the normalized UV coordinates. We take this and pass it to the prim UV function to look up the world position on the hit volume for the hit UV coordinates. We can then take this world space coordinate and use it with volume sampling. So for gradient, instead of prim UV, we will use volume gradient like before. In a height field, the height is the cost and volume sampling the height field gives us that value. You can negate the grad for gradient descent. Update the same functions inside the while loop. As you can see, we have achieved very similar results. Duplicate the wrangle node to implement the contour lines. Turn off the cost as we don't need it. Then do a cross product between the gradient vector and the normal like before. Also for height field, we might have to reduce the tolerance a bit. As you can see, we have successfully implemented contour lines, fully using height fields. If you compare with the previous approach, you can see the direction is reverse. You can just remove the negation from the gradient vector to match their direction. And with that said, see you guys in the next lesson.